No, I'm happy. That's a beautiful goddamn thing. Wife, you know you made it. Thank you, Lord. You know you successful when white people come see your ass. I'm going to see Burn. It's a new guy called fucking Bernie Mac. I'm going to see the guy. Black folk, we can go see any motherfucker, you know. I'm going to see somebody. Look at, come on in. Ain't that a bitch. Just got through giving white people props and the brothers had to come fuck it up. Come in late, the show started at 7 goddamn o'clock. White people here got their programs. They finished reading this shit. You come in, your beeper going on. Your woman, hey, how you doing, Tweety? Is that, is that a dog or what the fuck is? Oh, oh. No, I didn't know it's dog out here. The fuck I know. I love you, Tweety. I thought you had a poodle or something. I didn't know the fuck. What type of shit it did? I'm here to have a good goddamn time. You got white people here, black people, Asian. That's the way it's supposed to be. Mix with peoples. Tired of racism, tired of black and white. That's all the fuck I hear. Black and white, black men, white men. The white men, the black men. If I was Chinese, I'd be mad at the motherfucker. They don't never say shit about us. Never say shit. But we show sure quick to laugh at ass at the Chinese restaurant, ain't we? Let me have number 14, 15. When they start talking, they don't, 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 don't bite. You start kicking on the table, kicking and shit. Keep laughing at motherfuckers who fix your food for you. See what the fuck happened to you. Oh, China, you come back and feed your ass some cat or dog and shit. You be barking all fucking night. Ho, ho, ho. Man, you don't fuck with your stomach. Your stomach is the most delicate thing on your goddamn body. That in the ass. When your stomach fucked up, you ain't in no shape to do shit. And you can tell when your stomach fucked up what you gotta do. When you fart, your father will tell you what you gotta do. <laughs> if you get a father go, your stomach just hurt. That's all that is. That ain't nothing but some gas. If you get a fart and go, you got a shit. <laughs> when you hear that, your ass is wet. Soggy than a motherfucker. There ain't nothing worse than a wet ass, let me tell you. I'll tell you like it is. See, men, see, men. We pass gas, you know, we can't do the shit in front of people, though. You're going to do that shit in front of your boys. Women can't pass no gas at all. Oh, women pass gas, you'll cuss they fucking ass out. <laughs> Especially on the first date. Hey, baby, you having a good time? <laughs> Nasty bitch. Thinking ass bitch. What happened to that girl? I ain't gonna see that skunk motherfucker no more, man. Bitch fought it all in my car and shit. What type of shit is this? I don't care how fine she is, she fought in your car, you mad. And she ain't tell you? That's the worst thing somebody can do if fart don't tell you. And you getting ready to talk. Man, I Stinking bastard! You know I ain't lying. We all the same. I'm going to tell like it is. Ain't no difference with nobody. Ain't no difference between black and white. We marching doing that old bullshit. We the same fucking people. Everybody here going to die. Whites do the same fucking shit we do. They just do the shit different. Whites pay their bills on fucking time. Black folks, we pay our bills when the fuck we get ready. You see the bills on the goddamn table. Black folks, we'll push that shit to the side. 
We don't pay no bills. We see some red writing inside that envelope. And every black person in here know what the fuck red mean. Red mean hurry up. Be quick, motherfucker. Be fast. And we know black folks like to argue. No, we ain't paid no bills. The light cut off, but that still don't stop your ass from going out there to argue with that lady behind that counter. <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck I'm gonna do now? Come around that motherfucker. You know you ain't paid shit. Now you wanna make a payment plan agreement. Let me put $20 down there. What the fuck $20 gonna do? The bill $900. You lazy bastard! Look out for a motherfucker. <laughs> you know I ain't lying. White folks the same type of people that we are. We just do shit different. Black folks, we the only people that go to our job and swear we run that motherfucker. I know white folks talk about us like a dog when they get home. I'm so fucking tired of these Negroes, I swear. Cause you say the shit you got damn self when you get to the crib. These brothers make me sick like a motherfucker. Don't let them go on break. Shit. White people go on break, you can find them. They sit at their desk and eat their sandwich and drink their fucking tea. When we go on break, that's just what the fuck we do. You gotta look for those some bitches. And don't let it be no telephone on the job. Or we gonna call everybody but who the hell we supposed to call. If our job is talking on the telephone, recruit, we gonna talk, we gonna call all our whole goddamn family. And get mad when they tell us to get off the goddamn phone. You wait on your supervisor outside. And we always talk about say, man, you know, black people violent people. No, no, we ain't. Black people some loving people. We just talk a lot of shit. We ain't gonna cut nobody up. We'll blow your head off. And cuss you out while we're doing it. Pow! Nah, motherfucker. Wife will chop your ass on fuck. Hold his leg, Joe! Hold his leg! We ain't gonna watch nobody get stabbed no 30 something times. We can't handle it. You, oh, you killing after the second stab? You killing that motherfucker, man. You killing him. When you hear white people, when you hear brothers talk shit, don't pay them no attention. That's all the fuck they doing. I blow this motherfucker up. We ain't gonna blow up shit. First of all, who gonna say the dynamite? Soon you go purchase some dynamite, you're going to jail. I want to buy four blocks of dynamite. <laughs> Your dumb ass going to jail. Now, we'll tell you we're going to blow some shit up, especially like if we come to pick up our check and you ain't got our check. Then we'll procrastinate that we're going to blow the. I'm here to pick up my check. What you looking for? My check ain't here. Are you looking for it? I, I, I look for that motherfucker. Look for it. Oh, you found it? Shit, I'm finna say. <laughs> I'll blow this motherfucker up. We ain't gonna blow up shit. That's all it is. People just do shit different. Same shit. People argue, fuss, kids, whole nine yards. They say black people cuss too much. That's bullshit. <laughs> white people can do some cussing too now. Like, can't nobody say cocksucker like white folk. <laughs> Fucking cocksucker. <laughs> that asshole, asshole. When you driving on the expressway, cut them off. Fucking cocksucker. Everybody got their word. Messi got puto. You fucking out of puto. I didn't talk puto. Black words is motherfucker. We'll motherfucker you to death. Can't nobody say motherfucker like black people. 
motherfucker. Listen how black people talk. You listen to, to, to a conversation. You hear 15 motherfuckers and one regular English word. But the sentence makes sense like a motherfucker. Man, when I see that motherfucker, man, he owe me five motherfucking dollars. He ain't paid me my motherfucking money yet. The motherfucker told me he gonna pay me last motherfucker Tuesday. I ain't seen the motherfucker. But when I see that motherfucker, I'm gonna bust his motherfucking head. You know I ain't lying. All they're trying to show you is, man, everybody can get along. We, we the people just keep putting emphasis on this whole crazy shit, man. Everybody say this group do that, that group, that group do this. That's all bullshit. They say we fuck all the time. Why ain't folks fuck too? They love to the fuck. They on TV more than us fucking. You, you, you see those X-rated tapes. I taste me fuzzy as shit. They just fuck for different reasons. White folks fuck for trust funds, insurance policies. They fuck for heritage. We fuck for rent. Outfits, <laughs> light bill. We got to do what we got to do. And everybody here getting older. When you get older, you're supposed to get better. You're supposed to get better. I'm telling you for a fact, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm old. I can't fuck like I used to. I'm not interested. Sex ain't number hard goddamn work, man. They ain't shit but some physical goddamn labor. Just pumping all goddamn night. What the fuck you trying to achieve? <laughs> fuck till your heart stop. You know? He's a strong fucker. That's bullshit. Just 45 minutes, just fuck it, just fuck it. <laughs> Chest hurting. Lips white. My back hurt right here. And she laying there with her legs over right there. Come through right there. What the fuck is him right there? Bust the nest so we can go to sleep. Tired of shit. I'm old. I want to make it last. Bitch, you don't bust this nut, I'm going to choke the fuck out you. I'm telling you. You ain't going to kill me. I'm tired. Just fucking clothes everywhere. Mattress twisted and shit. Pillows sprinkled every goddamn way. And she's sitting there, too. Listen to the words that come out of people's mouth when they make love. Listen, I be busting up, because I'm stupid, I'm not well. I be making love, I be listening for all those fucked up old sounds and shit, you know. What the hell is a ha ha ha? What the fuck is a ha ha ha? I'm making love to my wife, man. I went and did my thing. All of a sudden, I heard, hey, hey. What the fuck is that? Hey. Busting that. All that hollering and groaning and shit. I'm tired. I'm man, I got a problem. I'm not ashamed to tell you fine people. We all grown. So I ain't putting on no ass to you. I'm saying what you're scared to say. Because you think people ain't going to like it when you tell the truth. I can't fuck no more. Three minutes. I'm weak. I went to the doctor. I said, doctor, something wrong, man. I ain't the man I used to be. I used to be a sex champion. I used to, man, when I got on some pussy, why should the fuck hair off pussy, boy? Now I'm retired. I'm retired now. My shit is on the wall of Hall of Fame. I look at it and get mad. My wife said, you gonna come on and do something? I try to find an excuse. Uh, I'm, I'm going to Cleveland. I'm going to Cleveland this week. Because I can't fuck no more. Three minutes. Tired. Three minutes. That's all I'm giving her. That's all I got. 
My wife was playing with me in the bed the other day. We was in the bed naked. We was wrestling. I told her her up. I told her her up. I said, you know, I ain't got long now. You up here bullshitting. I said, you better come on now. I ain't got long. She want to wrestle and play. Man, next thing you know, man, I came on on her belly. I don't know, you know. She cussed my black ass out. I didn't give a fuck. I was asleep. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Sex is hard work, man. All sex, all that stuff, man, come to par. This is time, place for everything. But women love all sex. That's just the way it is. Oh, see, look at you clapping. Look at you whistling. Look at you. Look at you. Ooh, Hercules, Hercules. Women love you to do some more sex. All you got to do is say, girl, I'll kiss your ass. Watch what she tell you. When? Don't even know your name. What your name is? But women don't like to do all sex with men. I don't understand this shit. I got a problem with that. Men been doing women for years, decades. Ain't never complained. Every time you ask a woman to do you, they get attitude. Especially black women. Because you got to give clues. Hint. Why don't you come over here and lay your head? Come here and lay your head. Come here and relax. Come here and relax. They'll cuss your ass out. What the fuck you mean by that? I don't understand it. But when you do, they go crazy. But see, men, we the same thing. Share, share life. If you that's your woman, then you, you got to give your woman the best you got. Because if you don't, you're going to lose her. And vice versa. Don't be shame. Don't be shame. You do it. Everybody need love. I don't care if you're a preacher. I don't care if you're a preacher. Everybody need a nut sometime. In the name of the Lord, you need it. Ain't no shame thing, but the messed up thing about that is kids. See, the world messed up. Kids. See, I'm saying what you're afraid to say, I'm telling you. Kids make me sick. I can't stand no son of my bitches. I'm not talking about the kids from the 70s and the 60s and the early 80s. I'm talking about these 90 goddamn kids here. Ooh, these some bitches, man, I can't stand them. Ever since they changed the rules, stopped us from hitting these fuckers, I lost interest in them. These some bad some of my bitches. They ain't got no respect for no damn body with they spoiled ass. See, I grew up with Big Mama. Ain't no Big Mama no more. Ain't no more Grandmama. You a Grandmama now, what's it, 34? Great Grandmama, Great Grandmama 34, Grandmama 24. See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I'm, I got a daughter, my daughter, 20 years old. My daughter is in college. The last four years of my life, my wife and I have been swinging real well. Nobody in the house, her and I. Now, I got three new kids at 40 years of age. What the fuck I need three new cheering for? <laughs> Two, four, and six. Yeah, ooh. This is my sister kids, you know. I ain't ashamed to tell you, my sister on drugs, you know. And the state was going to take the kids, you know. But I came and intervened. Yeah, my sister on drugs. I said it. I ain't ashamed. Some of your family fucked up too. Yeah, y'all clapping. Look at you. Come help me take care of these bastards. I'm sitting there in court. I should have did just like my brother did. My brother sat there and didn't say a damn word. He just turned his goddamn head. When they said, we're going to get the kids to the state, he turned his head. I had to get my self-righteous ass up. No, this is not right. We're family. We got to stick together. Had I known these bastards like this, boy, they'd be separated right now. Man, two, four, and six. And that two-year-old, she the son bitch. That have I been here before, man. She an apostle for the devil, I tell you. The other day I was combing her hair, I was looking for some numbers. 
And the four-year-old, my sister must have really been getting high with her. Because she don't say shit. All she do is look at you. I told her the other day, I said, help if a fire break out, you better learn how to whistle or something. Because you're going to be a burn up bitch fucking with me. I ain't got time to go to no fire looking for nobody like this here. Talk. She just staring at you. And the six-year-old cried like a zombie. The two-year-old got the six-year-old mind. Whatever the six-year-old kid tell the, uh, the two-year-old tell the six-year-old, he do it. No, he run and do it. And she kicks him, scratch him, beat him up. He cried like a little old heifer all the time. He came in my room one day crying like a little bitch. I knew I was wrong. I said, Sabrina. He said, yeah. I said, look at my drawer and get my pistol, you know. No, this heifer got to be stopped, man. She got to be stopped. I'm telling y'all the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, she's bad. These kids now are bad. I came home the other day, man, 1 o'clock in the morning. The two-year-old sent the six-year-old downstairs for some milk and cookies. He going to walk past me like I'm a visitor. I said, says, I says, sir, where you going to get some cookies? I said, sir, it's kind of late. Go on back upstairs. She wants some cookies now. I said, I don't give a fuck what she wants. You better go on upstairs before you get fucked up down here. I don't mean no harm. That's how I talk to him. Hell with that timeout shit. I ain't got time. These kids murder us. You ain't going to murder me. I'm going to murder them. You be reading about it on the news. He gonna go upstairs, the two year gonna say, where are the cookies and stuff? He gonna tell her, him downstairs. Like I ain't got no damn name or something. Who the fuck is him? She gonna tell him, I go get the shit myself. She come waltzing down in the kitchen, got a little step ladder. Go open the refrigerator. I'm watching. I said, what you getting ready to do? Get some cookies. I said, didn't you hear me tell your friend you can't handle no goddamn cookies? And I said, now you open that refrigerator. I'm hitting you in your doggone temple. I'm not bullshit. She going to look at me, man, like I stuttered or something. She going to look at me like I'm short. I said, get your ass upstairs. It ain't never going to sleep. Just walking around the house 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. See, my sister had these kids. She was on drugs. She must have been on coke and reefer because they wide alert and they always hungry. My wife and I can't talk no more. I can't make decent love to my wife because these kids won't go to sleep. We got to make plans. Four years of my life, man, I'm telling you, when you get older and your priorities change, you got to change with it. I'm old. And when you got kids, you can't do the same thing you used to. These ain't number words. Hey, I go, okay. But the truth is, these summer bitches make me sick. And if you touch them, now they sue you. What type of shit is this? I'm going to be a sued motherfucker, I'm telling you. Well, I got me a bat and I'm using it. They cut my love life out. I can't talk. They ain't scared of nothing. I was watching TV. Remember we had scary pictures? How scary pictures do us, man. You be so scared, you couldn't go to sleep that night. When your mama said, good night, son. You be so scared, mama. Leave the light on. They ain't scared of no light. I got a scary picture the other day. Remember Dawn and Living Dead when the whole town was dead? And everybody was walking around the whole town like this here. And these five people locked themselves up in the house. Now, first of all, some people are supposed to die. If a whole town is dead, you don't lock yourself up in no house. Use common sense. Common sense ain't common. If I was in a town, the whole town was dead. I would not lock myself in no house. I would open the door and walk out like I want no son, bitch. <laughs> and I have my car keys in my goddamn hand.
when you do things, you do things for a certain reason. I've been married, to, I've been with my wife 25 years. 25 years of my life. Look at, yeah. Oh, it's fun. See, these are jokes. I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I wouldn't trade my wife for nothing where I ain't saying that for no applause. Because you learn. Can't fuck no more. Outside pussy is dangerous. Ask Clinton. Everybody say, now nah, he's a dog. He's wrong. Yes, he's wrong. I'm not condoning. You say, he, he fucked her in the White House. What was it going to take her? Holly in? What the president gonna take it to Holly in? You fucking the bathroom like the fuck he did. Suck it, suck it, suck it. <laughs> Who you want? You can't talk that to your wife. You can't tell your wife, suck it, suck it, bitch, suck it. You get your fast sucker, you motherfucker, you. Anytime a woman save a dress with some sperm on, that's how you talk to her. Suck it, you filthy bitch, suck it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love me some oil sex. I ain't gonna lie to you. When a woman do me, man, it just, it just drives me crazy. I can't, I can't control myself. I can't. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Last time I had oil sex was, man, years ago, years ago. Man, that, that woman was something else. That woman was something else. I'm looking for that heifer right now, you know? <laughs> oil sex just make you just, just do things, just say things. You ever had a woman give you oil sex, man, and look at you? What are you looking at me for? Concentrate. Focus. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Cause see, y'all some sick bastards. Y'all, y'all like that nasty shit. Look at you. Say it. Say it. People love nasty jokes. I don't know why people like fuck jokes and all that kind of stuff. What's so funny about fuck joke? What's so funny? See, look at her, say it, say it. What's so fucking funny about fuck joke? You need Jesus. You don't need to hear nothing about no goddamn fuck joke. I ain't telling no more goddamn fuck joke. I'm tired of fucking. I'm tired of fucking with you. That's what I tell man, it's all about love. I tell my family and stuff all the time, see, all this stuff up here, man, it's fun, it's jokes, it got its place, but it don't tell you who you are. You got to know who the hell you are. And when you know who you are, you know the all you can be. Don't let nobody tell you, man, Bernie Mac, I don't give a fuck about y'all talking about liking me. Fuck y'all. I like me my goddamn self. These are jokes. Jokes! When I get through telling jokes, then I'm a real goddamn man. This is a half an hour bullshit. That's what I tell my wife, I tell my auntie. My auntie, she's a superficial woman. She like material shit. She worry about what people think and say about her. She treat all the kids real bad, except her little kid, Tyree, with his stuttering half retarded ass, you know. <laughs> now I don't mean no harm, I don't mean no harm. I call like I see it. Cause he ain't retarded, he plaque, he retarded. He be playing like, ain't nothing wrong with that son, bitch. That son bitch smart as hell. He, he's smart. Anytime he gotta clean up or something, he going to. If you tell him to pick up something, he go right into the. I said so that son bitch faking like a son bitch. He read when he want to play or something. He just eyes straighten up and everything. He just talk real well and everything. Mouth a little crooked, but when you get on him and discipline him. And he stuttered real bad. He wasn't sh shaking stuttering son, bitch, you know. And my auntie treated him like he's a prince. She, she got him so spoiled, y'all. She got the school bus picking this boy up, man. The school right across the street. <laughs> ain't that spoiled? Now, when he playing, he walk all regular. He walk just like this when he playing. Now, when she tell him to walk to school, that's how she all doing all this shit here. <laughs> hey! Ain't nothing wrong with that bastard. He on the corner waiting on the school bus. The school bus pull up. Now he stutter real bad. He want no shaking stuttering, some bitch, you know. School bus open the door. He walk up to the school bus. Uh, 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 
<laughs> Bus driver closed the door and drove the fuck off. Next day, same corner. He stand on the corner. School bus pulled up, opened the door. He did it again. He got tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Bus driver did like this here. Closed the door and drove the hell off. Oh, he mad now. He went home and told my aunt. She mad now. No, nah, we ain't having this shit here. I'm going to school with you in the morning. And I wish that bus driver would drive off. It's going to be all in the news. She took her time, walked to school the next morning. She put him on the corner. She went to bushes and hid. She had a video camera and everything. Bus driver pulled up, opened the door. He did it again. <laughs> he did it again. Bus driver closed the door. My auntie jumped out. Hold on, black bastard. Hold on. What's your goddamn problem? Denying this little boy his education. Bus driver jumped off the bus and said, he. He was teasing me. <laughs> <laughs>